The surface of the pressing mold appears embossed, but before it can be put into the record press, it must be checked once again. This is done by playing it on a turntable, as you would at home. ARTV started this tag, I'm not sure. I'll link his video down below if you want to go check that out. But basically, I'm a big lover of music. Um, that's how I started blogging, because I started a music blog with uni. Um, I have not the biggest vinyl collection on earth, but I have quite a few vinyls, and I thought this would be a nice video to show you guys today, answering some questions about my vinyl collection and sharing a bit more about my style of music. The vinyl tag consists of I think it's about like 18 questions, I'm not sure, to do with your vinyl collection and I'm going to answer those questions now. Um, first off I just wanted to show you this, this is my juicy little box that I keep most of my vinyls in. I got this from a little vintage shop like vinyl shop in Hull they sell like second-hand and vintage and old vinyls and they had this box going and because I bought um, like a few vinyls from there he did me a deal on this so it just kind of like pops open at the front and I'll keep my vinyls in there um, this was just black but then um, I wanted to make it a little bit more my style. So I used cuttings from enemy magazines and stuff like that to um, cover it in, so the front, the sides, and the back are all covered in all the music and bands that I love. Um, this is very old now. This is probably like, three, four years old, so it's lasted me a very long time. And this itself is probably one of my prized possessions to do with my vinyl collection, because I love it. Okay, so the first question is, how many records do you own? I actually own 24 LPs, I think, 24. And I have 10 singles as well, so I have, four pieces of music to play um it's not the biggest collection ever i guess i know a lot of people that have a lot more and um, vinyls than me but i don't know it's growing the the last year of like col my collection i've probably got a lot more vinyls than i have in the entire span of like having a record player because I've just got into it a lot more, um, had a lot, a little bit more money, I guess, like my own money. And when you're a uni student, you just se seem to want to spend money on things that you really shouldn't. <laughs> um, but yeah, sometimes vinyls can be quite expensive, like especially new ones, they can be like 20, 30 quid, which I don't have that money to buy one like all the time. Um, but sometimes you can get some very awesome bargains and that's another thing that I love with vinyls. There's a shop in Cambridge, I think, um, where my boyfriend lives and they, I'll put their like shop in the down bar. They have such a big range of vinyls and they have some really good priced ones. I got a load of singles from there. 
so so cheap and they are songs that I absolutely love. Um, what kind of record player do you have? Um, originally when I was in like year 11, I got a Crosley Cruiser. I probably should have known that buying it from Urban Outfitters wasn't the best decision because <laughs> it's a pretty shit record player. Um, yeah, I didn't know a lot about LPs and stuff then and I just bought one of those because it looked nice and I don't know, it was from Urban Outfitters. Um, it seemed to be like that's what everyone was getting as well. Like that's all I'd heard anyone say anything about was Crosley players. So I thought that they were good, but I've learned very recently that they're not at all. They, they have built-in speakers, so you can't expect a great sound from them anyway. So I think a built-in speakers is gonna sound shit. Um, and it's just things I didn't know about it. Like obviously it's cheap, so you can't have expected great things from them, but Things like the needle, I think the way Crosley they make them, right, the needle is too light, so it bounces while you're playing music, which means that it's moving on the vinyl, and then that means that it's gonna be scratching the vinyl when it's playing the vinyl, and that makes you feel very sad inside, because I have some like one-offs and like old vinyls and stuff like that, and to think that all the time that I'm playing them on that, record player that they're getting damaged I cannot do it <laughs> but that meant that once I found out that that was scratching my records I didn't listen to them for a while because I got very scared so I didn't listen to them and then for Christmas this year um can't remember if it's Christmas present or birthday present but my mum bought me a Philips F1141 um, stereo Music Centre. So basically, it's like an old, it's big, and it's like an old all-in-one system. So it actually is an amplifier, a turntable, um, radio, and cassette player. Um, but it sounds beautiful. It is absolutely unbelievable how much better it sounds on that than the Quasi player. Like. I can't believe it. It has external original speakers with it. Um, and you can mess around. The volume goes a lot, lot louder. I can fill the entire flat with sounds. <clears throat> the third question is, how old were you when you started collecting? I don't know, I think I was 17. I was either 17 or 18. And it makes me think that I was 18 because I'm not sure if I got it as my paycheck. I got some money and I bought my record player. So I've been collecting vinyls for about three years now. I kind of bought one or two when I first got it and then bought some more and then like say if it's been three years, like my second year of collecting, I didn't really collect anymore and then because I didn't like listening on that record player. I didn't buy any more because I couldn't listen to them anymore. But this most recent year, like even these most recent months, I've been buying a lot more and I've got some absolute gems in this past year. Right, so the next question is, what is the oldest record that you own? So these ones are the oldest song-wise because as it says, hits of the screaming 60s these have 60s music on them. So these are the oldest music wise, but this, these were released in 1982. So that's like the age of the vinyl. So if we're talking actual like vinyl wise, the oldest record that I have is this one by Queen. Yeah, this is from 1974. Um, single wise, this is the oldest record of all of them. I have a single from 1966. This is by The Monkees, and I absolutely love this single. Um, it has Last Train to Clarksville on one side and Daydream Believer on the other one. Both are absolutely amazing songs. I love The Monkees. 
It's quite a nostalgic song for me as well because Daydream Believer is a track that me and my mum used to always play and listen to together. The next question is, first record that you ever got? The first record that I ever got, again, was these. Hits of the Screaming Sixties. I got both of these at the same time. Um, these are the first ones that I received. Um, I was given these by my Nana, which was so sweet. Basically, when I first got my record player, I'd ordered one album, but you can't really listen to the same album on repeat. And because my mum told my Nana, because she found it quite funny that I was getting a record player and like, they used to listen to records and they were my age and, but she came around with a bunch of old records that she had and we listened to them together and it was so cute, like three generations in the same room, just like jamming out to some music. We were just all chilling, me, my mum and my nana listening to these ones and like a load of other ones. And it was so sweet because some of the songs even I did know, some of the songs I didn't know, but even the ones that I didn't know, like there was ones that my mum she remembered listening to with her mum and it was just so cute like just watching them like listen to them again it was such a sweet experience just to see her like be able to listen to her old music again but yeah they were the first albums that i was given and this is the first record that i ever got because i got this even when i did not have a record player Basically, I went to my first gig in Birmingham. Um, I went there to see Def Havana and Charlie Simpson was a supporting act. We went to try and meet him and in the queue, someone was selling these. And then it was kind of like, well, I have, <laughs> I have this record and nothing I can do with it. But it was still like kind of like a, a very nostalgic person and I like physical things to remember things by. That's why I like Polaroids. I have like a memory box. Like I like physical things to help me remember times. And me being such a big fan of music, I like that I had this to remind me of my first gig. But then I remember like getting my record player and it didn't even like cross my mind that quickly. And I was like, oh my God, I can finally play this record. Like never listened to it before. And this is a really, go to track, um, really slow, really chill, um, Farmer and His Gun is a really good song, um, I would listen to that if you like more like acoustic and chill music. Um, the next question is, the first record you ever bought with your own money? Um, mine is, whatever people say I am, that's what I am not by the Arctic Monkeys. Um, I loved absolutely every song on it. I love the Arctic Monkeys. I'm not 100% sure if I can remember where I even bought it from because I ordered my record player online and then I ordered this online and this came first. So I just, it just came in the mail and I was like, can't listen to it, but then my record player came and I just remember like sat there with the biggest grin on my face and I put it on and my mum was just watching me and I was like, this is, Amazing. The next question is favorite color vinyl. And I have three colored vinyls. Uh, the 1975 ones, I would say are colored because they're not black. They're like a clear kind of white color, which I really love those. But I think like for, if we're going color, we're going bold. It has to be um, the album plus by Ed Sheeran. Um, so yeah, album cover is orange. So what they did was they made the vinyl orange. And I think it looks absolutely beautiful. Like it's such a beautiful, bold orange. I love it. I think it's such a gorgeous record to have. Like it's so, I love Ed Sheeran's music anyway. He's got a beautiful voice, but like there's something about it on record that just sounds beautiful especially the a team like it's such an acoustic like emotional song but it just sounds great on record 
The next question is, what is a discount album you own? Um, my discount album of choice is Abbey Road, which I am so happy about. Um, I love the Beatles. This has always been like one of my dream vinyls that I've wanted. I think it just is an amazing album and I love it, but Abbey Road can be really expensive. I got it from Black Barn Records, which is the record shop I was on about earlier in Cambridge. Um, I just Googled it. Um, yeah, it's called Black Barn Records and you can get some absolute gems for a steal price in there. And they had this one at 30 pounds, which I've never really seen it that cheap before. And it just got my student loan through. And I was like, do I, don't I? And I was like, this is the cheapest I've seen it at. You really want this record, get it. So I got it. And then I also, they, I didn't realize they were having like a 10% sale on all records. So then I got 10% off as well. So I got it for £27 and I feel like that is an absolute bargain and I'm very happy with my discount album. Um, the next question is, what is your most prized possession? I feel like all of them are my prized. They're like, my vinyl collection is my prized possession. Like, that's why I keep them in, that's why I keep them in this box. So if there's a fire, they are all in one easy, grabbable thing. I can just grab this and run. It's fine. It's very heavy though. But I do think that my most prized possession has to be Changes by Bowie. Um, I love this album. This is the first vintage album that I bought. Um, he's probably one of my favorite artists and got like, it's just like the best of the best songs really, isn't it? Um, if something did happen to this one, cause this is one of the vintage ones. Like if something happened to one of the other ones, could rebuy it, but like, cause I've had this one for so long, it's got a lot of memories tied to it. So it's more than just a record to me. And that's why this one is my most prized possession. Um, a record by your favorite band? The 1975. I absolutely love their music and just I'm just obsessed. There's no other way to put it. I would sorry to my boyfriend, but I would marry Mahili in a heartbeat. Um they're the band that I've seen the most live. It's music that has helped me through a lot emotionally and no one can take that away from me. And these are like I said earlier. What a beautiful record as well, like. Um, an Impulse Buy. Most Impulsive Buy is actually Submarine. Um, this is the soundtrack to the film Submarine and all the songs are by Alex Turner. Um, it is a really beautiful soundtrack. I love it. But I was doing a project for my uni course you had to do a film intro and I was going to base it on Submarine and I wanted to have like the person holding the record. In the end I didn't actually even do the project on Submarine but I'm really happy that I bought this on Impulse. This is another very chilled kind of record. Um, the next question is a gift. Well that's not really a question, I'm guessing it's what vinyls have you been gifted? I've been gifted a lot of albums. My mum bought me, has bought me a lot of records. But my favorite gift record has to be this one. Um, I got this Christmas this year. Um, my granddad bought it for me. Bowie Legacy, I absolutely love that I had this one. It sounds beautiful. It's a new pressing. Um, it has some of the ones that I have on the changes of Bowie, but then it has other songs which I've wanted for so long. It is just 
a compilation of some of his best works. Um, it's a beautiful record as well. This is what it looks like here. And then it opens up like this. Um, what I really loved about this one as well, it was genu genuinely interesting. I think it's this one. Yeah, has a kind of this little article by Dylan Jones, who is the editor-in-chief of GQ. And this was a really interesting read. Um, if you can somehow read this and you're, a, like, I don't know, maybe Google it online and you're a really big fan of Bowie, I think you might find um, it quite interesting. The next question was most played record, but I, I don't really have an answer to this. And it, there's, there's just not one, I'm not that type of person who just listens to one album over and over again. I go through like different periods where I will listen to one album loads and loads and loads, but then I'll listen to another album. I just rotate too much to have my most played. Um, the next question is a rainy day record. I have a lot of like rainy day records, I would say. To me, a rainy day record is a very chilled, acoustic, kind of, you could just pop it on and just kind of sit back, relax, maybe even like read a book, like just listening to this music and just relaxing. And for that reason, I chose Ben Howard, Every Kingdom. It's acoustic, it's pretty slow, but that's what I like about it. And that's why it's my rainy day album. Like this one I did know straight away. Like I have quite beat songs and stuff like that, but a rainy day record, it just made me think of this straight away. I feel like a rainy day record is definitely it depends what your mood is. But for me, this is what I play. If it was raining outside and I wanted to stay in and listen to a vinyl with a cup of tea. The next one was a feel good record. So I did choose this one. Um, Come on Eileen is a song that everybody loves. I was so happy when I found this little gem. Um, me and my boyfriend have come in drunk from nights out a lot and popped this on and just danced like maniacs. And that's why for me it has to be my feel good record because it's a song that makes you feel good. A nostalgic record. Um, for me, again, the 1975 ones are nostalgic records just because I have so many memories tied to them. Um, I've been to see them the most times and I love them and those concerts make me feel so happy and I've got so many memories attached to seeing them live. I saw them at Bridlington Spa, which is like right near where I lived. And then I traveled all the way to Manchester with my best friend to go see them. And we had such a strange night, but it was great. So that's why for me, that is my nostalgic record. The last question is um, a recent purchase. My most recent album purchase is Abbey Road. That is, I bought that in January. And yeah, I bought it in January and I haven't bought any more albums since. At the same time as buying that album, I bought a bunch of singles. Um, so these are all like my most recent purchases because I bought them all together. Um, so I've got Call Me by Blondie, um, Town Called Malice by The Jam, which is another song that I absolutely love. Um, I've got this one by Pink Floyd, which has one of my turns and another brick wall. I was so happy that I found this. You do not understand how happy I was when I found this. And these were also cheap, like two pound, two pound. I think this was one pound and that's why I like literally died. Like I know there are any singles, but I was just 
like these are like my favourite songs. So I was like so happy that I got them. Heart of Glass by Blondie, love this song. All the Young Dudes, um, love this song. And I think, I think that is everything. <laughs> I haven't talked about like every record I own. I still have this massive pile of ones that I haven't had a chance to talk about. Um, some notable ones, Fleetwood Mac Rumours, absolutely love. That is one of, that is actually one of my most played records. I absolutely love that one. Um, the Balcony, Catfish and the Bottomman, love that one. The Tame Impala albums sound amazing on record. Um, the Kooks. What else have we got? Yeah, Arctic Monkeys albums. Ed Sheeran. The Smiths. So many, so many records. Um, so I didn't want to like go through 24 records individually and talk about them because this would have been a much longer video than it probably already is going to be. Um, so I thought doing the vinyl tag was a fun idea. Um, let me know some of your favourite um, records if you only in the comments down below. Um, if you enjoyed this video please please do give it a like, it means a lot. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, I hope you liked this video, I thought it was something a bit different and would be fun. Um, to learn a little bit more about me um so yeah <laughs>